Now Time It is going to introduce one of the most prolific and the most veteran politician of North East India, I can say. Not only of North East India, you can say of India. He's Mr. Turun Gugoy. He was a Sikh minister for some for long 15 years. So we would like to put some questions about his personal life, about the political scenario of Assam. Sir, my first question to you is that I have seen in this room lots of books and newspapers are here. How much time you spend with your books and newspapers and what time you read? As far as possible, I do. Huh? Normally, of course, whenever I travel, hmm, I utilize most of the time. Here, of course, time is limited. Limited, of course, because of the visitors are. Huh? Though I am no longer as chief minister, but visitors are still uh, quite large, coming from all sections of the people. Uh, that's why I have a very limited time to go through. But in the morning, I always read the newspaper and an article, not then all the news. In the morning, of course, I spend one and a half hour at least, so that I can be completely up to date as far as the news and the topics, different topics, sometimes maybe economics, sometimes internal affairs, sometimes maybe foreign affairs, maybe agriculture, unemployment. So all sorts of topics I keep in, so that I'll be on track. Sir, what do you say about the twist and manipulation of news items, particularly done by some section of newspapers? No, that is true. These days, manipulation is manipulating politics, you call, or mainly on news also. It's much more compared to the past. That's no Do you read the all vernacular newspapers in the sun? I don't read all the vernacular, but most of the, some newspaper, but the most of the news I have seen almost the same. Slight variation is there, here and there. So what about your idea or impression about the news channel in Assam? No, news channels are competitive is definitely. TRP is also everybody's. So today's, uh, whatever, whether it's in politics, whether in media, or electronic media, or press media, so, a uh, lot of changes has taken places. TRP is important. The ethic, earlier ethic is no longer there. Professionalism is no longer there. Some are most materialistic also. More interest is earning money instead of eh, giving the correct information or uh, taking a, what you call a neutral stand. So when you see something what you are doing very genuinely for the good of the people and if you see in, in the very next morning, if you discover that it was twisted and put in a different way, how you feel? No, no, we are used to it. Mm -hmm. Yes, earlier initial stage we do upset. Now we don't get upset, we know. So some manipulation, so sometimes twisted. These days twisted is much more compared to the past. Do you want to say, do you like to categorize any newspaper, one of the best newspapers in Assam or TV? Series? I don't like to generalize, but there are one or two newspapers I don't say, but very rare. Rare, maybe one I can say, except that eh, most of the, they go according to their own interest. Sir, now of late, I'm changing a little bit that, I'm a little changing the topic. Now, the digital media is booming, particularly in the Northeast, and we are getting people are more switching over their mind to the digital media. What is your impression about the no, future no, of digital media? No, but it continue both. Digital media is mainly for the younger generation. And the older generations, are still they are used to eh, the old habit of going through it. But digital, also, but the print media will also have a, will continue, not that print media will be completely eliminated. Okay. So now I'm coming to the politics and present our scenario, political scenario, you can see. Recently, the government of India has emphasized for the Armed Prospecial Project for the Northeast, except few states, two states, I think. So what is your opinion regarding Now the, the situation has improved. Yes, earlier there was a need also, and it was there also during my tenure, but we hardly use it. So many of the people of the country, they don't know, the Special Armed Forces is, was there in Assam, still is still in there, because during my time, misuse of Armed Forces Act, yes, there are certain discretionary power has given. 
But if the discretionary power is exercised properly, you see, there will be very little to complain. Because Assam was also there. Last 15 years during my tenure, yes. that was there. But you see, the way we just, uh, what you call, uh, supervise, or we have the kept uh, given warning to every my police official, order CRP, central police, even army also. Hmm? So there are very few cases. Uh, very limited cases. Abuse of the act. Abuse of the act. Complain even. So yeah, there are a few cases. So before that, yes, there were. There was a secret killing also. Hmm? Before I came to power, yes, there was In a... late serious, 90s. Yes, late, late 90s, uh, 2000. There were a violations, serious violations. Even relatives of the Alphas, uh, they were picked up in the midnight and they were eliminated. So they are rare. Violation. There's no doubt about it. But I stop it. It depends upon how, who runs the government. Sir, as a reporter, I personally went to, to the place where these uh, hearings were going on KNC case commission. No, I'm referring about the KNC case commission. We have gone to the report and the report was submitted, I think, yeah. to, to your office. Uh, so what, I, we have not seen any action taken against the people. No, no, against the uh, real culprit fact that that killings took place, elimination of these relatives, innocent persons were that's but to identify the killers or the murderers because the way they conducted hmm, they put all the what you call black hand huh, cover the heads when they uh, go to eliminate it. So it was very difficult to identify the killers. You see? So that's why killers, yes, we couldn't identify. But the fact that the commission found that such killing did take place. And that also took place with the connivance. And without the connivance, such incidents couldn't take place. Because subsequent that incident, hmm, the way they, they conducted the inquiry, the investigation, was a similar. Eh? So, so that's why we call secret killings means killing of innocent people with the connivance with the government. So that's why you call. Hmm, You're going kill. the definition of secret killing. Secret killing is nothing. Otherwise, all killings are killings. Because this is it is it happens with the knowledge of the government. Okay, with the knowledge, with the, not only knowledge with their assistance, and they sometimes don't use police. They use uh, some al salva and others. Sir, so during your 15 years of long tenure, what is you, what do you think to be your most successful part in your administration? No, successful part is for containing insurgency also. Hmm? The way we conducted, eh? you see, why they fail, uh, you see, in Jammu and Kashmir, instead of improving, you see, there are more forces, they spend a lot of money. But in spite of the, instead of improving the situation, situation has further deteriorated, you see. So dealing with a oh, insurgency is not only with, with the police force or army. Eh? It has a political tactics, we know where the people also. And then human approach must be there. Eh? Without human approach, I don't think hmm, yeah, it is possible to solution also. Hmm? And all always the time has to be how to bring them to the mainstream. Hmm? Always you must consider them their own my brothers and sisters. If you they go even astray or they go in the wrong path, our whole idea is to bring them. And some cases you have to deal with very firmly. That is necessary also. I don't say that you cannot uh -huh. but at the initial stage we have to all that try to see. Hmm? to bring the mainstream, try all persuading all measures uh, and you have to divide those uh, who are extremes, who are in between, who are soft. So you deal with accordingly. Uh. Sir, uh, Paras Guru, I think uh, in your tenure, 
Aurobindo Rasa has came to the mainstream. All these yeah. hardcore elements that came to the mainstream. But uh, somewhere, I think you could not bring Paras Brata to the mainstream. I know, that's why I say you have to eliminate. You see, sometimes, yes, it is just like a chronic disease. Even if you have a chronic disease, you can maintain a good health. You see, for example, for me, I have got a bypass surgery, mm. valve surgery, mm, sugar, hypertension. You see, a lot of I see. That is everybody's question, of course, ah. at your age. Yeah. So, but still, I'm maintaining a good health. Hmm? And because I take, I do exercise regularly, eh? food habit also. So, certain things, if you have to measure. So, insurgency in India, even the whole world also, complete elimination is not possible. Hmm? So, you have to live with insurgency. Particularly in the Northeast, I'll be too happy, uh, but you have to lead a healthy life. And we have been leading a healthy life, and that is an example of Assam. Means Parasbara will be there in his position? Parasbara possibility 99% no. We knew it from the very beginning. So that's why we eliminate, not eliminated, we separated it. Hmm? We will see hmm? that not, if you can bring the other groups. So instead of persuading him, so we put more trust or more persuasion uh, with the other groups who were a little soft. So we have to know to distinguish between who is, who is, who is a hardcore, who is in between, who is a soft. So, what, you, what is your idea about the peace process that is going on in Assam in, con, in, in terms of Parasbara? I'm, I'm asking you. No, Parasbara, there is no such peace process. Parasbara only is, attempt has always to be there. Not that we will have, eh? even as today, though we know that eh? it is very difficult for Param also to get out of there. Of this. Uh, he is under the foreign forces, no doubt about it. It's very difficult for him also to get out of him. So in spite of that also, so government or everybody should also try best hmm, to pursue him or persuade him eh, to bring them to the negotiating table. Sir, you have seen the, the insurgency from inside and outside during the you know, last 15 years of tenure. Before that, you have also seen what is your idea, what is your opinion regarding the role of Ozit Tuval in taming the insurgency? Ozit, I don't think they have been successful. They have, according to me, the way they have been dealing with the Punjab, oh no, that uh, Kashmir, JNK. You see, success depends means if they have been able to contain, if they have been able to main young more and more people to the mainstream. Hmm? So, which I have not seen. On the other hand, I have seen the elimination of people. Hmm? Elimination, elimination means I don't say that completely. Eh? Mm. Hmm? That today, hmm, more and more people are joining insurgency. So, normally, attempts should be made eh? that insurgency should be less attractive to the younger generation. But unfortunately, uh, I have seen hmm, that more and more younger generations are joining, which is very unfortunate. But still, I, I, I hope that government, with their own experience, if the certain policy fails, the government should change it. It should not uh, go and uh, stick to one policy, which has not yielded any result. What's the point of? Continuing the same policy. If certain policy fails, you change the track and see the another ways. Then you have to examine also why my policy has failed. Hmm? So you, you take another route also. Sir, recent uh, after forming the government by BJP, they says that they will go for zero zero tolerance for in terms of corruption, and they took a strong steps against uh, the APCP members and chairmen and all. So during your tenure, uh, Raj Rakespal became the chairman of APSC. Yeah. So sir, what was your lapse in that part that you could not detect no, the no, man no, who is no, so you corrupt? See, you <laughs> see, in fact, corrupt, unless, you see, that time also there was some complaint. Yeah. 
there was an inquiry also, our high court goes, but he couldn't find. But there was no such direct evidence. This time they got a lucky. But I still, why they are not inquiring in 2016 recruit? Why the government has failed to arrest his own brother, who is the main culprit? Why? Why his brother? They keep silent all the time. They don't talk about his brother. Do you have any explanation for that? Why his brother is not arrested? That's why. The government has in connivance. They are also indulging some same sort of corruption. Why? Why his brother has been arrested? And people know they talks about him. Hmm? Because they say it is printed in his, uh, what you call, press. The male culprit is not, you are caught. And nobody talked about his brother. Why? And why they is not? They are not inquiring the 2016. Eh? He was corrupt till 2015, and whole case was relating to 2016. That lady who was eh? some gogoi. Some gogoi. Yeah. This is relating to 2016 case. Oh, but catching the dog, it all course of course. Eh? But they went to 2015, good thing. But why not 2016? Hmm? Do you have any, any proper explanation for, the, for not they, arresting? They have to explain. Why? Do you have any idea? What is your idea? Because that? they are indulging. There are more corruption in 2016. That's why they are not doing. I have been making all along. A man was a corrupt till 2015. And all the cases, allegation, that Gogo allegation, is relating to 2016, not even 15. I got your point. So now I'm coming to some different, it is related to the politics. So what do you see about the future of Congress in the no, Congress future is bright. Now hopefully whole India. Is it what is the basis of your claim? Claim because they have failed. They have divided the society. Eh? Whole economy today is in mess. Jobless is growth. Younger people are frustrated today. Small trader, businessman, everybody is today hmm, unhappy. Eh? Even the farmers are. Which, which class is happy? Except the few very, very big industrialists. Nobody is happy. And what is the development? Yes, publicity wise, is, they are at the top. Hmm? So, publicity wise, if you see Achadin, where is an Achadin? Yeah, whatever they promise about 15 lakhs, where is the promise? Where is their job? Where is the price check up? Creating of jobs? Devin Kok, Sabke Sat, Sabka Vikas, Kiska Vikas. Yeah? You see, nobody is today is happy. Whether it's a government servant or and particularly in Assam, you see, they wait all the time. The Assam will be freed from the foreigners. The moment he come to power, Everybody will be sent back with bag and baggages. How many foreigners they have sent? Forget about foreigners. How many they have identified? Instead of identifying or sending back, now they are inviting uh, with a red carpet. Hmm? So they want to destroy the whole culture of Assam or Assamese people. Hmm? Language, our literature, our culture. Hmm? And every state is formed on the basis of language, not on religion. They want to divide the people. Not, not only divide Hindu Muslim, Assam is Bengali. We have been linking together for a long time. Tribal, non tribal, six syllable. Even tea also. Certain benefit we are giving to tea garden, not to the Assamese people or to the Sidul caste or everybody, Bengali people. Why? So don't make a Discussion. If they are same level, give it to everybody. Government cannot make distinction between just for a vote capture. So now, uh, if I go uh, into the depth of the cab and other activities called IMDT, we find some kind of similarities between cab and IMDT Act. Well, suppose one is meant for the Hindus, protecting the Hindus, another is meant for the protecting the Muslims. Sir, you are a veteran lawyer after yeah. all. So how you interpret? No, no, I'll tell you. Yeah, from you legal see, point of view. You see, legal point is only there that time 
they say why exception to but that was not for muslim only that was foreigners hindu muslim christian i am the is not only for what you call muslims people may say anything huh? it is for everybody you see i am the even bengali hindus are there also but other people are there not that it is only for muslims huh? they say why it is only for assam that is there but even then i say even today there is no amdit but how much they have been able to come this alia they say am is i am dit was the uh, what you call was standing on the way to identifying the foreigners today i am dit is no longer there after you see stuck down i am dit by supreme court how many foreigners hmm, you could identify or detect why not where is the failure where is the lacuna sir lacuna means you see had there been they could have been done it mm-hmm. yeah. even today you see what you call the voter means maybe 1 lakh or what they are or 1 and 1/2 lakh or not more than 1 and 1/2 lakh the voter that means doubtful voters no that means according to your calculation not my calculus and during my tenure they were accusing me that you were giving protection to the muslim now who is giving protection i am no longer a chief minister even mahanta's time he was there for 10 10 years then why did not identify forget about identify how many cases are a pending in the foreign tribunals hmm? you have to refer to the foreign tribunals hmm? so they are also making all so un- i believe i am it was scrapped on 2005 <coughs> or 2006 something Six. after that yes yeah so till 2015 i think you were in the power that all right they are now two years three years how much they do think us so you no know, is it supposing Yes, we give the protection. There was no complaint. Why the question of giving protection? Hmm? Everybody is accusing, but there was no complaint. Hmm? If there is no complaint, hmm? who can take cognizance of it? Somebody must complain to it. Yeah, there are lots of troubles. So there are lots of. Um... things were it is very difficult to complain the Why? complainant have to prove and some we have to prove or a minimum substance yeah you have substance. to be nearby person or something not necessary anybody can do over you can give anybody then i have suspected these areas yes you can also if without mentioning you also you can give it i have not received anybody mm-hmm. now i mean, i we are coming to the in part of this, our discussion sir Sir, uh, do you have any plan to become a chief minister again, or something? No, I don't have a plan. You see, because my age is a factor. Oh, I want to be an advisor also. Not that I am completely off from the politics. Yeah. I want to take part, so that some people believe that your your tenure was like different, and uh, you should be again. Is it definitely our tenure was different? Whatever the development work has taken place during my tenure. whether in field of education whether in the law and order whether in agriculture whether even power or industries no doubt eh? i feel uh, what you call happy or satisfaction is there but sir last last term last term was little bit controversial the lots of dissidents came up some the rebellion came up and rebellion came up but why sir the rebellion is definitely is a some people will always be there you see manta bisa sharma was there there he was encouraged by uh, central leaders also some oh, politics politics is always a place where there is a rivalry even earlier also there were you see um, in mean salias time in other chief minister time there were two groups not that groups were not there always you know? so the groups are there Uh, even solia's time dk bora very strong group was there uh, 
So that. So why Himanta Biswas Sharma became a rebellion against him? He was one of the most trusted men. This was a very. This monetary is not my question. These are questions from. Is he? Is he asking why he rebelled? Do you have any idea that why this man became? I know. Went from his ambition. Book? Ambition is. Except the ambition, what else he could be? Except the ambition, he is an ambitious man. Uh, he has uh, no uh, no commitment. He has no ideology. He is the most opportunist man. He is the most power hungry man. So that's why he can't. People believe that you he has uh, you have helped me in many ways when no, he has no, been I his have, career. I build up him. I yeah. uh, he must he is all the, he says I am grateful to you whatever opportunity you have given. His written letter is still with me. Mm-hmm. Even after his reading. But now he won't say. But his written reply is with me still. I have not uh, placed before the public. One day I will publish also. Now my last question to you. Sir, you have nicely said that there is a dissident. Well, difference of opinion may be always in politics. Uh, that is true. But still I see in Congress there are different kind of lobbies. Say Bordelais lobbies, Boraz lobbies. I will not mention the name. Uh, so lobbies can, will be there. Politics is always, without lobbies. Don't you think this uh, segregation, this kind of segregation inside the Congress will uh, hamper in the coming coming days? I don't think ultimately I come on whatever decides they will have to go by by. You see, Congress we know. Lobbies are there. Lobbies will be there. Earlier also. That means you are used to lobbies or something. I'm used to lobbies. I'm not that we are not. You don't care about the lobbies. I don't bother about because I am not after power. During my tenure also. I didn't bother. I didn't knock any central government. They didn't make, make, make me chief minister. We know that part. <laughs> I didn't knock any MLA to propose my name. Yeah, yeah, I know that we know. I have never asked in my life. Yeah. Yes. So in spite of that, I got it. I'm. So, sir, that is a good impression among the public, even though you are a congressman by blood, but feeling some regionalism always with you. That is a wide appreciation. That is, that is acclaimed like anything from all quarters of society, because even though you are congress, somewhere you are Jatiyotabadi. You have to be. Is Jatiyotabadi, there is no difference between nationalism. What is nationalism? You see, I think Jatiyotabadi to a good Jatyata body is a good nationalist also. If you are a good Assamese, they are a good Indian also. Hmm? So my according to me, there is nothing wrong with the regionalism and what is nationalism? Nationalism is consisting of all regionalism, whether Assamese, Bengali, Bihari, Gojati, all. It is nationalism. Hmm? There is no such nationalism which is different from Assamese or the Bengalis or Bihari or Gujaratis. This is my. My last question that was came because uh, this questions came to my mind because of the Himanta Sarma. So during this uh, an there was a scam called Ehadar Kutituke scam. So somehow Himanta Sarma escaped because of the, your blessings. It says that you have not given the sanction. So what no, is no, no question of sanction. They did try. It. But somehow he managed. Managed, that's true trap. And there was no such direct evidence, but the fact that eh, his name was there. But there was no such direct evidence, because nobody will, in fact, that Khan, his name was a lot of was Khan. But he won't give the name directly. Okay. Hmm? Sir, now we would like to conclude our discussion. Uh, It's a nice setting. Sir, uh, just give me a few words for time it. How you expect the time it for the people? Because we are penetrating to the society like anything, and it is very one of the most popular web portal I can say in the northeast. So, sir, uh, sir, what do you give some message for the time it so that how no, you? What is it? Just you explain your uh, time it. Of course, I have seen uh, though it is a new, but coming up very nicely, and I have seen his popularity, his credibility. Credibility is most important. Credibility, I have seen this uh, time it also. So without credibility also, hmm, any channel, eh, so cannot, eh, what you call, get TRP or whatever maybe, or mm-hmm. large scale acceptance of the people, or the viewers also people. So beside also, it has to present whatever the news or other in such a way, eh, so that 
it provides a lot of not of, not only information, lot of knowledge, education. So this type of uh, channel definitely has a bright future. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.